let's see if we can divide one third by one half. And the thing is that one half is larger than one third. So we're trying to figure out how many times one half goes into one third. We know it's going to be less than one. And here's how we can do it. We can take one third and instead of division here, we can use multiplication, but we're going to multiply by the reciprocal of one half. That means we put the denominator up top and the numerator on the bottom. So two, that'll be our numerator and one, that'll be the denominator. And now we just multiply one times two is two, three times one is three and we get the answer two thirds. So one third divided by one half, that gives us two thirds and it's smaller than one like we expected. There's one other way we can do this. You could multiply one times two, that gives you two and three times one, that gives you three. And again, you get two thirds. It's really the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal, just a little different method here. This is Dr. B dividing one third by one half. It's two thirds. Thanks for watching.